All right, so uh, we're gonna be watching a Silver Three Brig mainly Kiriko. I'll read the description and we'll get into the bingo. Uh, this was one of the longest and most stressful matches I've had in the wild. One of the en enemy DPS was constantly flanking us from every possible direction. I became so paranoid later on in the match that I was looking around at the barest hint of a footstep. By the second round, things got a little heated between our teams, leading to some broken keyboards. It was a crazy, stressful match, but a fun one. All right, it is time. Let's watch this game. Brig on Junker Town is always an interesting spot now, especially when it's on Ana Brig. But you're running the Mercy Brig comp. But you have an Arissa, so there's a bit of survivability there, and the Soldier 76 can be pocketed or the Junk Rat by the Mercy, so it's okay. I just hope your Arissa doesn't expect to be healed as much. All right, so far we already have a Sim TP in the back of spawn. Where, oh, the Sim is, you're right, the Sim is flanking. There is a Sim, wait, is that there? What is, what is, okay, wait a second. So you are, you are trying to pay attention to the back line here. Currently have a Sim on the high ground flanking. You had a Brig who was right here, who I thought was your team, but then you're the Brig. You have a Junkrat who's over here looking for something. Absolutely wonderful start. Here we go. Junkrat tried to 1v1 the Sim. Remember when I said the Arista shouldn't expect any heals? I'm gonna start off with this one because I think this is a good opportunity to add this one in here already. I think we're gonna already check off. Tank falls over, I'm a tank. And the reason being is not because they necessarily got one shot because there was no way they're gonna get healed with this comp unless the Mercy and the Brig were committing every single one of their heals to the Arissa. And on top of that, we're using their uh, proc and Inspire the whole time. So we're gonna, we're gonna get that one going right away. Everything else here, I also am gonna put the uh, Sim goes in 1v5, right? It doesn't mean they're getting rolled. It, it can be either or. You go in 1v5 and you get rolled, or you're in their team 1v5 and you're getting the limbs. And that is what the Sim is doing right now. So, so far, not a bad start to the bingo card, especially when you walk out of your spawn doors and within a minute we already got two. Is this where you completely switch off of Brig? I kind of like this. This gives a little bit more healing uh, output to your team um, and allows for you to kind of focus on what you want, which is basically keeping your Orisa alive while your Mercy can worry about keeping the DPS alive a little bit and... Doing all that. Meanwhile, I watched the Mercy fly into the Orisa, and now that Mercy's gonna fall over. No, they're not. They're gonna end up surviving because the Orisa went too deep into spawn. You now went on high ground to heal your Junkrat. You're on the same roof with the Sim. So there's a, there's a Sim above you right now, which would be... Your Junkrat is trying to get up on that roof. They finally got up there. I want to point out the reason why your Junkrat's going on the roof is because there's a Sim. There is a, there is a Sim right in front of you. There is a Symmetra. There you go. Okay. Yeah, there, that's why your Junkrat's not going up on that roof and, and losing their HP because they're... they're what in the world was any of that? You said a very nice sim wall there? Yeah, we've all been there. I mean, we, we've all been there, right? Like, how often are you playing sim and you try to use your sim wall and you get rolled immediately and your sim wall also went 800 feet away from where you wanted it to go? Nice shots. The nice Suzu on the enemy Orisa. Yeah, just making sure the Orisa was good, right? Okay. I'm okay with your, your play style here. You can go for a little bit of earlier, more damage. You did that on the Sim though, so that's fine. There's a Bob. There's a Bob. The Bob is... I don't even know where the Bob went. I, I don't... I... Kasune. 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 There we go. There it is. See, you want to... Oh, yeah. There we go. You want to use that earlier because that's going to benefit your soldier. If you don't get Sune and you wait to get Sune late, that's exactly what's going to happen. Where is... What is going on? Suzu! And don't worry. We'll update the bingo card here shortly. There's a couple we can add to that. I, I, I've, I finally have hit the moment of this has been very optimistic flanks by their sim, especially that flank. That is a very optimistic flank. Okay, I want you to get closer to your team here in a second because you're going for those really long-range heals that can take time to get to your teammate. Um, your teammates will benefit a little bit now from you being up there and keeping them alive a little bit. I guess it's fine. I mean, your teammates ended up getting the limbs there, but uh, very interesting first point to start this game, I, I must say. I I'm not really sure where to go with this just yet, but we're going to go to the bingo card here. We got zero limo. I You ask who had a zero limo? Who didn't have a zero limo? All right, we got optimistic flank. All right, long team fight. Actually, that is true. That was a long team fight. Good call. Alton falls over immediately. That was Symmetra, 100%. Alton with low HP. 
Also correct. Symmetra did that. Symmetra did both of those. Symmetra ult and fell over and also ulted with low HP. So, those are both good ones. All right. Good to go? All right. You, the Sim's on the flank and you ping. And you ping. Which is good. That Sim really is on the flank the whole time. You're not wrong. So I don't mind your cleanse there, but like, look at what you're, you, I think you're actually, and I mean, may, maybe not, but I feel like you're worried too much about this sim right now. And it's not that like, it's necessarily bad to go for that sim, but it feels like you're worried way too much about that Symmetra right now. Like you're spending more time worrying about that sim than you are anything else going on with your team. That is a Marissa ultimate if I've seen one. Like you're not even looking at your team, you're sip. I gotta pause for a second, okay? We gotta talk about this. If you hide behind the wall in front of you, that Sim is gonna get no value. You are standing in the middle of the open given that Symmetra value. You just threw a heal at the Symmetra, stood in the middle of the open and almost went back to spawn. Your team is so worried about that Sim that you're not even giving yourself an opportunity to go, oh, wait a second, it's a 5v4 right now. Let's be wary of the Symmetra, but they're also 800 meters away. They can TP, you're gonna hear that. Let's go push into their team. We have a 5v4. There is a Sim not in this team fight. If we work together, we should win that frontline battle. In the meantime, we have now gone all the way back to spawn. Your Orisa, right, just fell over. You are now healing your Junkrat in first point. What in the... Do you see what I'm saying? Did that bring just all? All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check something off right now because that was ult after a team fight is one slash lost, okay? That, right away, that Brig did not need to rally. That team fight was already won. Like, that was, there was no need for that rally. One, two, three, four... Was that four ults used? I don't know if that's quite an ult domino, but it's getting there. It's getting there, that's for sure. Interesting so far. Everyone stands in the objective without space? Not yet. If they all stack in the card right now and don't take any of the high grounds at all, then yes, we could go with that. But I need to give it a little bit more time than when the than when the gates first open. I think there's a little bit of leeway time that you're all on the cart when like the objective is out. Yeah, well, as I say that, um, I just want to point out, remember when I said that they were going to go for high ground control? All right, I'm going to get high ground for you. Sounds good. There was three sim turrets in a sim. I, I still want to point out, like, and I, I think this you'll, you'll, you'll improve with this. Start to take advantage of when they have only four in front of you. Okay, now the sim's in front of you right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you got to win this. You got to win this. You got this. Remember, there's going to be sim turrets. Be careful. Okay, good job. It's a 1v1 now. This, this is where you have to worry about the Sim, right? What is going... What is... Huh? You saw the Sim? What? What? I'm sorry, but what? What's going on over here? How is your team still alive? I want to see how you win this. I'll get back to you in a second, but I have to see this. Hey, you can TP now. You can TP from spawn. And the Sims with the team now. I guess it's just Arissa. It feels like somewhere along the way, through this ranked experience of that Sim, someone got mad at them for not diving the back line at any point, and they committed to that being their play style the rest of the way. Someone was like so mad they never went to the back line as like any of the heroes and they just immediately started thinking they had to dive into the back line at any point and that's what they've been doing. Yeah, this is what we call an ult domino by the way. It's, it's it, it pretty much have to be, but I'd say we're at ult domino point at this point. This is pretty much what you see um, at the end of a round. That Sim is doing the exact same thing. Good job using your TP and the Sim's off the cart. Now granted, I'm not gonna count that as like they didn't get on the cart because truthfully, um, that Sim wouldn't have survived too long on the cart. Anyway, that was quite the first half of Overwatch. I really think you should stop focusing so hard on the flank and sim 
ping, make your team aware of it. Don't turn around the whole time. Let's go take a look at the bingo card and see where we're at because I this has been something. Let's go. We're gonna do the question mark one. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna explain why for the question mark one here. Okay. That Symmetra's play style was something. And that team fight you had in your spawn doors with the Simwall and the Soldier 76, and your team also survived on the point against all their ultimates? I don't even know what that was. Of course, we got the ultimate domino. And we saw that at the end there. It kind of happened throughout that whole team fight. Okay. CC'd. I mean, we had the, you know what? Brig stunned somebody, and Sims turret CC'd the Soldier 76. I'll count that one. Why not? It's CC because it slows you a little bit, just so you know. Um, and it shows you where walls are. I am happy with this one. Okay. The Sim is now on Soldier 76. I can only imagine what we are about to see. I can hear him flanking already. There we go. Yep, there it is. Now it gets a little bit more interesting because now you have a Soldier 76 on the play. Which, if your team doesn't run into him right away, now it's like, well... Against a Sim, it was a little bit different. Now you have a Soldier 76. That was a random usage of your cooldown there. That was something. That was a Suzu. Um, you're not worrying about your tank right now. You're sitting back really far. I, yeah, I, I really think you should start focusing more on what's happening in front of you. Play angles to try and survive from the Soldier 76, but, like, you can't spend the whole game trying to worry about what their Soldier 76 is doing. If your teammates want to help you, that's great. If they don't, then you need to kind of, like, pick and choose the battle that you want to have there with, like, their team, which would be like, okay, I'm just going to keep my, well, now Zarya alive and let them stay alive on the front line while that Soldier 76 is flanking. That's what I'm seeing, at least. Yeah, Zarya's not a bad. Zarya's... So, uh, Riss is really good right now, but Zarya with a bash and with the bubbles is also really good. That's an ultimate. That was a random Suzu. All right. Did cooldown spam? Yeah, I think we've seen enough, like, cooldown spam in this first half of defense to check that off, and we'll check that off here shortly on the bingo card. Don't you worry. There is a Soldier 76 spawn camp in your May. You hear him. This is where you would start to fall back a little bit because you would still... I'll explain why. Actually, what we'll do now also is I will check off the spam and cooldowns. I think we've seen enough of the random uh, Suzus that aren't doing anything to be able to check off the Suzus for this bingo card. So I'm totally okay with that one. You don't want to worry about the, the, the flank as much, but that changes. And this is why Overwatch can be interesting sometimes because how you want to ideally play it can change very quickly. An example of that is your May got spawn camp. So you push it into their team now, will not go in your favor. Well, it will be a 4v4. This time around, you want to go and even up that number by getting the trade in your back line. It, it changes how you're going to have to play that if your teammate gets rolled in the spawn doors immediately. You get what I'm saying? Good job using your position here, by the way. That, that was a very good spot for you. I need you to get to the side where your Zarya's at, though, in a second. There's the there's the random cleanse again. You cleansed a uh, ice-blocked May. I would like to see you Kasune to help your team main, otherwise you're not going to hold this point. Oh, yeah. This is going wonderful. Yeah, I, I think in that situation, and, and, and I'm not, this is, of course, a hindsight play, and it could have gone either way when you do this. I actually would have liked to see you Kitsune down, so that way you had a little bit of the benefit from the boost on the high ground when you were helping your teammate, and your teammates also benefited main. The moment you committed to going back and helping, which was what we were talking about, you then took way too long on that part of the team fight, and your teammates ended up getting rolled. So, yeah. Uh, Spiral Links, we get this up. Thank you, appreciate it. I need to talk about this for a second because we spent the whole time not using Kasune, right? You held on to it for quite a bit. This is the Kasune you decided to do. Right? Your teammates are low HP. You're out of position. And I want you to see something. Your ultimate pretty much goes there. One of the plays you can do is maximize the distance that you get out of your Kitsune. 
So if you're back here and you use that and your teammates are alive and you can Suzu your Mercy, get a res, etc. It's great because you get a full value, but now your team's forced to have to run into their team to get the full value from that ultimate. Look where it starts, right? You can see it on the ground. You end up not getting the value from your ultimate and then your teammate tried to then make a play off of that Kasune and then they get their ult eaten by um, the Orisa, and now you're down on ultimates too. I will check that off though. Uh, we have the hold on ult for quite a while. Um, as of right now, though, I don't even... We're not really seeing an overly aggressive tank. Tank out of LOS, we have seen. But I feel like that's more on you being out of LOS, but I'm going to check that one off. The tank has been out of LOS multiple times. But that's more like because you've gone out of LOS. But it's also, yes, the tank is out of LOS. Outside of that, I think I haven't seen anything else. No one's going for high ground. We have everybody in the cart. The Soldier 76 is all the way up here in their spawn. Literally all the way up here in their spawn. Soldier ult. What in the world is happening right here? What in the world? Okay, by the way, if we needed to talk about overly aggressive tank, uh, we found the overly aggressive tank right here, buddy. Overly aggressive tank is now checked off of the box. Everybody's so worried about the soldier. It's, it's so interesting to see because they're giving up so map control because there's a soldier behind them doing like 10 damage. This is silver. This is so interesting. I'm, I'm going to consider this frontline support. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to consider that frontline support. I'm going to consider that because I feel like at that point, it, it's frontline support because there's just so much happening. The Kiriko keeps TPing into the flank and soldier, which kind of puts them on the front line um, and their tank way behind. So I, I'm actually uh, pretty happy with that one. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that one. We're getting close to a ultimate, but not there yet. I mean, not an ultimate, a bingo. Getting close to a bingo. Looks like your teammates are definitely helping you right here. Okay, your Kasunes, you are you are holding on to these Kasunes for entirely too long, and you're mistiming your Kasunes. It's like you're waiting for your team to get critical to try to save them with a Kasune. Oh, we did get a bingo. You're right, we do have a bingo. Wait, my bad. You're right, we do have a bingo. I missed that way earlier. We do have a bingo. We got bingo! I was just seeing if we were paying attention. At least this is how I'm seeing it. You are currently using your Kasunes to save your critical HP teammates rather than using them to lead in with a team fight. And, and I, I think I saw a comment the other day where somebody said, we really watch in a spectating video if, if it's not just a whole video about me telling people to be proactive with their ultimates. Be proactive with your ultimate. Don't be reactive. It's time. Interesting start by their Soldier 76. Um, speaking of overly aggressive tanks, it was very nice of their Arista to run into you with all their cooldowns within a half of a second. That way it was easier to get them rather than them timing their cooldowns out perfectly so they can never go down. They just keep getting rolled over and over again. They'll just keep staying alive there. Okay. Interesting start so far. Let's see if your teammates stack on the cart or play, or play like... Oh, yeah. I want to see if your team goes for map control. There's also an Echo now flanking, so they've switched off from Soldier 76 to go Echo to flank your team. Um, which, this goes back down to me. There's an Echo behind you. There's an Echo behind you. Be careful. There's an Echo behind you. There's also a Bastion shooting your Arisa, but you're so worried about the Echo. This is like one of those issues where you're worried about two different things there and you didn't take care of either of them, but thankfully the Echo decided to run to the point and go one by one. All right, we have four people on the cart. If that Genji falls back and stacks on cart, I'll count it. Okay, now this is the time where everybody starts to run to the cart one by one, as we saw the Mercy and the Echo have both ran to the cart one by one. I'll see what the reaction is from the other team. Also, I would say at this point, I would consider this, even though your Genji's playing a little bit aggro, everybody's stacking on the cart. And here we go, by the way. Everybody's starting to run in. They feel like they have to get to the point. You have all five stacking on the cart. The team isn't waiting for anybody. I, I, I will probably count this as going in one by one. Um, but I want to see something in a second. There goes, there goes, uh, their Brig running to the point. Kitsune, please, please. 
Thank you. Yeah, Mercy decided to go in by themselves. Echo's now on the flank. Yeah, this is exactly what we expect in overtime. We're going to have a couple things checked off after this because this is what I mean, where they're not taking time to regroup. They're just trying to run to the cart over and over again, which someone said, like, well, what do you mean? That's the point. You have to get on the cart. Yes, but, like, you want to take your timings with that, right? The, the best way that I would explain it is... Oh, they can swing in the car. Yeah, I mean, I saw that. Yeah, that was great. Um, is like, like the Arisa. You see what the Arisa just did? That might work right now. That could work, right? Very much so. But if you do that on every hero over and over again, that won't that won't always work. The reason why you also want to group up and take a team fight as a team, outside of the off chance that you make a play like Arisa just did right there and you can do that solo, right? You want to stack up because you also get their ult pull out. So one of the easiest ways to get let like let them get six to three on you is that because you're going in one by one, they don't have to ult. So if you take one team fight, that could absolutely result in them using all their ultimates. You just come back with an ult advantage. Let me uh, check a couple things off here. Everyone stacks in the objective. Course in overtime, it's going to get checked off. That's another bingo. And... People run to the point one by one during overtime. That's also another bingo. I'm going to check this one off. No one touches the point slash cart because you had a lot of live there. You had every opportunity to TP to the point to help your team and you got distracted by an Orisa. So we're also going to check that one off too. It was, it was a different a different one that we're used to. That also happened because you could have touched the cart there. You could have TP'd out. Could have helped on the cart. Instead, you got uh, CC'd by the Orisa in the back line and couldn't do anything. After a team fight is won, no one goes and gets map control. That one also. We're good to go. We're good to go. Let's go see what happens. Will you get this win? Here we go. Your Genji's going to the back line. They're back on Sim. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going to be in the back line. You know it. Just remember, you don't have to worry about the Sim too much. Okay. I, I, I need you to start focusing on how you're using your Suzu's, not just hitting the button for fun. This is a good save, by the way. This is a good... S I thought it was going to be a good save. Oh, no. Okay, your Mercy can res that? I'm okay. I'm okay with that, Suzu. Your Mercy was resin. Arista got stuck into a wall? We'll count it. You're right. Right at that object right there. We'll count it. Actually, it looks like the, the Genji had a problem with the... Uh, over where they were having that 1v1 also. We'll count it. Why not, right? That's close enough. It's probably happened before. Your Orisa just ran at their Orisa by themselves. That was not the play. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look to TP somewhere, by the way. Remember, you can hold your TP button and it will TP to somebody. Even if you don't have any in range, hold your TP button. It will TP to them. Also, that was really unlucky. You just went to the point and randomly got killed by a Bastion who was right-clicking there. I want to see where your Bastion ult goes here. Oh, yeah. Starting to overuse the ultimates in overtime. Oh, we got... That's going to... That was one of those. I'm just going to put ultimates in three different spots. We have your Genji still in the cart. I'm going to go back to you now. It's TP to your teammates. Your Orisa has once again got aggressive. I'm loving this sim uh, wall that was not necessary at all. And your Bastion's coming to say hi. All right. So quite the first team fight already. While they're pushing here, I'm just going to quickly check off on the bingo card. Uh, get stuck into an object. We just got two more bingos. Let's go. Two more bingos. So be careful here. All right. Don't run to the cart one by one. All right, there's a blade there. My concern about that blade is it was used very early, giving the other team opportunity to get back. But I also am in the argument of that side of things where if it you use one ultimate, you want a team fight, and you can still build a bunch of ultimates, and now they're forced to use their ults, that is a good play. Also, your Genji has not come back from spawn, and now your team's in a unique spot. Um, good job there. Uh, looks like... Why was your mercy in there? What is going on? Oh, don't get Sune. Do not get Sune here, please. So far, so good. Your Junkrat's way out of position. I don't know what they're, they got in the limb. Okay, now... Get Sune. Good job. I think you're going to cleanse that. There we go. Nice job. Uh, and we'll go back to the bingo card. That, that was a good bingo card. That was a solid bingo card. There was a lot that you probably could have learned off of that one. Your Katsunes, your random Suzus, 
worrying too much about the flanker behind you. It is still good to make your team aware of the flanker, and it's okay to take some pop shots, but you don't want to spend the, like an hour and a half trying to get a Symmetra in your back line who's three teleporters away. Didn't really see randomly AFK if I missed it. Voice line spam, I didn't hear it. No, no one peels for the supports. That could be argued that no one peeled for the supports at some point. I just wasn't really looking for it as much, so we'll let the we'll let the comments decide if they saw that. Um, and then someone is asking for healing where they can't be healed slash won't take a health pack. I'm gonna be honest with you. The person on your team who was getting rolled the most was your tank, and a lot of that was because you were so worried about other stuff that you weren't healing them anyway. So, that was that. That was a fun bingo video. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button. Stop by the stream. We have a ton of fun there. If you want to submit a game for spectating or the possibility of a bingo, look in my description below. You will see my Discord and everything else you're going to want to follow there. With that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day slash night.